Welcome back to another month of Lightroom Quick Tips here at ProPhotoResource.com. This month we're going to cover a couple topics regarding uh, identity plates in, in Lightroom uh, and a couple different alternative uses for, for identity plates which you're not typically uh, used to using. Uh, the first will be using uh, an identity plate in your slideshows as a copyright mark and the second will be in your print module to add a sloppy border to your images uh, so you can print with a border and not have to go out to Photoshop to do uh, to do that. Here we are in the slideshow module and what we want to do at this point is uh, we want to create a slideshow and we want to but we want to we want to protect our images we don't want to send this out into the world and uh, and have people be able to do screen captures of our slideshows and, and, and use our images in places that we don't uh, give them permission to use them. Um, there's been a lot of talk in the forums about this and I just wanted to show you how to use Lightroom to uh, accomplish this task. Uh, so here we are uh, in our default installation of Lightroom. Actually your slideshow may look a little different. I've gone ahead and, and tweaked mine a bit. Um, but by default uh, Lightroom goes ahead and drops in your current identity plate, whatever you've set up. Um, and if you've left it the default Adobe identity plate, that's probably what you're going to see here. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab this this little guy here and we're just going to drop it on top of our actual photo. Um, and we're going to drop the opacity down a bit just so it's not so obtrusive. And then you'll notice as you as you scroll through your images that identity plate's going to be on every single image that you uh, that you have as part of your slideshow. This is just a great quick way uh, to protect your images. Now if you want to do something a little more traditional um, we can go ahead and let's just go ahead and move this up to the middle of the screen here and we're going to go over to our overlays uh, palette here uh, and we are going to click right here on this identity plate and select edit. This is going to pop up the uh, identity plate editor at which point we're going to go ahead and delete out our current identity plate and we're going to hold down our option key on a Mac and option key on a PC I guess would be the same thing and type in the letter or the number letter G and that's going to give us our copyright symbol. Uh, you, at this point you can change it to whatever font you want. I'm going to leave it at Century Gothic just for the sake of this tutorial and let's just go ahead and make it uh, 48 point. We can scale that up when we get back in. I'm going to click OK and that's going to go ahead and it's going to drop a traditional copyright mark over the top of your image at which point you can scale that up to a, to a size of your liking and drop it over the top of your image and then go ahead and use your opacity slider to drop that back so it's not really destroying the look of your picture but you know it's it's there and people will know it's there and it's going to def um, deter them from using your images uh, in places that you don't want again so that's just a quick down and dirty way to protect your images in your Lightroom slideshows and now we're going to move on to the print module where I'm going to show you how to do a quick sloppy border or a, a quick border on your print uh, before you go out to print So here we are in our print module, um, and I've gone ahead and done a few things here uh, between videos. I've uh, cropped this image down to 8x10, uh, and uh, I've got it here on my canvas ready to print. But hey, wouldn't it be cool if we could add a sloppy border, uh, you know, one of those rough edge borders to our image? Uh, and traditionally, what we'd have to do is export this out, go into Photoshop, add our, add our border there and then either save that image back into Lightroom and print from Lightroom or print straight out um, a Photoshop with our border uh, applied to it. Um, but I'm here to tell you that you can actually do this right here in Lightroom using identity plates. Uh, again, another alternative use uh, for that little thing that usually just sits up here and takes up space. So what we're going to do is you'll see again uh, when we popped over into the, the print module that Lightroom went ahead and put in by default uh, our, our standard web identity plate. So we're going to go and we're going to go back into overlays over here. There we go. And we're going to select edit. And that is going to pop up our identity plate editor again. But this time what we're going to do is we're going to go over to this little checkbox here and we're going to select use a graphical identity plate. So we'll select that and then we're going to go down here to locate a file. I've put some uh, borders on my desktop here and so I'm going to go ahead and do the 8x10 borders and I'm going to find one that I think looks good 
and let's go ahead and use this white one since it's such a dark image and I'm going to say choose and you'll see that a little preview shows up here and at this point you can either clear the image and locate a new one or uh, you can just go ahead and say OK boom and that is going to use uh, it's going to switch our identity plate out here and then you can just go in and kind of reposition it over the top of your image and voila you have a sloppy border on your image and now you're ready to print out to your uh, to your local inkjet printer die sub printer whatever you use and uh, you are good to go so there you have it another month of quick tips here at profotoresource.com uh, go ahead and jump on into the forums if you have any questions regarding these or uh, other alternative uses for identity plates we'd love to hear them but until next month we'll see you again in the forums at profotoresource.com <laughs>